What's happening? Dustin here with Life in a Mustang, and today I'm gonna show you how to put on that sweet Mach 1 grill delete. Now, this grill delete is for the 99 to 2004 Mustang. It definitely adds some character. It is gonna look real nice. So, let's get into that video. Okay, now as you can see, the original grill that came on these 99 to 2004 Mustang GTs, it's honeycomb, it's kind of a 90s era, bad taste in what a car should actually have. And that's why a lot of people switch over when they put the Mach 1 out and uh, people love that grill. They loved that absence of engineering or design per se. Because that's what it is. It's an absence of design. Now, some people may love this because it did come from the earlier years in the 60s and 70s. They did have grills like this and it was a part of that whole thing. But it just didn't work on these cars. And for around $100 or less, you can actually change the entire appearance on the way that your car looks. Nice poppy. Here's my poppy. So let me show you those parts. All right, so some things that come with this grill delete kit. I got it at American Muscle. Uh, Late Model Restoration has one. There's a little different, I think, the way you install it. But the, uh, the original grill all comes out the same. I'll go over that. I've kind of got mine pre-disassembled, but you'll definitely get the point. Now, this one came with the pony. It's got two screw holes and a little latch here. We'll go over that in a minute. It came with the grill delete kit and it came with two of those push fasteners. It's got a lip right here, if you can see that right there. And it's, you know, it's like a mustache. Look at that, I twirl my mustache. Comes with that and it comes with some screws and the little push clips and that's it. Now, when I put mine on, I found that it looked incomplete. Now the Mach 1s and maybe the Cobras, they come with this panel right here. You can get them for 50 bucks. I got mine, it's an original piece. It says right on it, Ford. Uh, so I take it this was the Mach 1, I don't know, but my car didn't have it. I may have lost it when I put the new motor in. I, I don't know if it ever even came with it. I have no idea. But I picked this up for 25 bucks on eBay and this little piece right here definitely fills in the void that leaves you hoping for more. So, let's start installing this, the disassembly. All right guys, right here I'm just pointing to the different tabs on the old grill that you're gonna have to take out. I have, of course, already taken them out. So, wherever I point, you know, pull there, this tab uh, right over here, I'm pretending to pull it out because it's not actually there, it's already out. Tab there, you got like four or five tabs up on the top of the grill, remove this panel get that thing out of there now you got a couple more tabs uh, these are the push pins that I have stuck in there just for a show but I think they're the kind that are two pieces originally pull that one that one that one and that one out of there and then see I'm just faking it right here this is the, I stuck that in there so get that sucker out of there you'll have those across the top it's a different type of push pin but uh, you get what I'm saying there and then there's going to be screws. You're going to fold that back and get to the screws behind that panel and lift it out of there. Those screws right there you'll take out. All right. Now that we got everything taken apart, I'm going to start off by putting this piece in. Now, you'll see on American Muscle and you know, LMR where they have this little square. They have this little square cut out. I didn't need to do that. I've already had this on there. That's why none of the screws were in. But this is all taken out on other ones. I didn't cut mine and it worked out just fine. I'll show you that in the process. But we're gonna start by putting this on and then the grill delete is next. Okay, so what I do is I take this, it's got a tab right here and a tab right here. You'll find the holes on the inside back here. But I just, Put it in like this, front forward, 
push down on the top. Kind of got to work it in there. And then you'll see the holes on the back to push those clips into. And that's it. It's in. That's all you got to do. That's it. This piece is in. The lighting's kind of bad. But it's right there. This little pit right there, that push pin, is part of a clip inside of there. I don't know how well you can see that. But it's just a filler panel. It fills up the void that's not there that when you put the grill delete in, it's kind of a must have if you put the grill delete in and you'll see what I'm talking about. You really need that piece. Go ahead and spend the extra money and get it. It's gonna make the car look that much better. Let's go ahead and show you this grill delete. Okay, now that we got everything all apart, we're gonna take this piece. You can see right here, there's like a little lip that it's like a, a slot and this part of your bumper right there is going to slot in between this. It's kind of a pain to do actually. Uh, my first time I did it, it was, it was, I was getting irritated. I was getting really irritated, but you kind of, it feels like you're going to break something, but you just be gentle. That's all I can say. So let's go ahead and stick this thing in there. So you gotta kind of put it in there like that. And I reach my hand. I reach my hand behind here and push up on the bumper and kind of help that get into there a little. And it can be quite troublesome. And as you can see, it just popped right in. The first time wasn't that easy, but you just you kind of put it in and fold it around. And that's it. It just went in. All right, now here's a tab. As you can see, I broke this a while back. Normally it would go like this and a push pin would go through here. It would go through there and then it would go through there. I'll show you on the other side what I'm talking about. Hole, hole, hole. See all three of those line up and you stick a pin through it. Right here is that filler panel. If you can imagine what it looks like without it, that's kind of what it looks like. You see those holes right there and there. The filler panel does a good job of hiding all that. And this back here, you see all of the support. So this panel along with this panel make a pretty big difference. If you can see here, it just slots in. You take this, you bend it around. You put in your pins here and here. We'll do that now. Okay, it's time for the final piece of this whole transformation, and that's the pony. Let's go ahead and grab this thing. Now, they come chrome. You can get them black and get them oversized. I've seen the video. American Muscle gave me this one. Now, they'll tell you with that extra piece that we added in there, that filler, there's a little thing right there, and they tell you to cut out that square panel. That way it can lock in, because it, it kind of, it clips in and then screws in. I don't do that, I just screw it in, it sits fine, I like it, it's whatever.
All right, guys, that was an amazing transformation for under $100. The grill delete, it looks amazing. It definitely adds to the styling cues of your new Edge Mustang. So go ahead and get rid of this thing, you know, put it on your wall, save it. Who knows, maybe one day this grill will make the difference between a collectible and a retro mod. I don't know, you tell me. This has been Life in a Mustang, I'm Dustin. I like to bring you some sort of vlog, some sort of how-to, along with another type of episode that I do called This Tool is Cool. Go ahead and check that out. It's where I review tools or show you how to use tools that you can use in or around your shop or on your car. Like I said, this is Life in a Mustang. Today's been a how-to, how to make your car look better, that is. So stay tuned for many more episodes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.